Jim was in his early 30s when he came to London from Australia, where he lived with his mother. Came for a week and stayed that way. The usual story, I lost my documents, but I never found a job. I was interrupted by odd jobs. I created a group, but I didn't manage to break through. It turned out that heroin became the only true friend. This friendship almost cost Jim his life. He managed to slow down already at the very edge. Of course, a difficult childhood was to blame for everything. Although when you are over 30 it no longer makes a difference who is to blame. You begin to vaguely guess that you made all this mess yourself. James's mother traveled half the world in search of herself, lived here and there, never staying anywhere for a long time. She lost her son in these wanderings, a gloomy teenager with a monstrous accent, became an outcast in each new school. The only thing he knew how to do in life was to play the guitar, but he was not taken to decent places. In London, he performed at Covent Garden. Assistance was provided to James under the municipal program, since he had English citizenship. The municipality and housing provided a tiny apartment on the outskirts of London, a po quarter, dirty, the light in the entrance is not on, but for the first time its own nest. Once in March, James saw a cat in the stairwell. A large ginger cat was sitting calmly on the rug by the door, either no ones or lost. The next day the cat was in the same place. Thin, bald spots in the wall. Where can I get a cat? I can barely feed myself, James thought, but he took pity on the cat and decided to treat him. And then maybe the owner will be found. Time passed, the cat was treated, his coat shone, fat grew on his ribs. The cat walked on its own, left and came back, but was in no hurry to disappear back to where it came from, behaved as if it now had an owner. For the sake of the cat, Jim had to turn to official authorities for the first time. He usually avoided this. The cat got an electronic chip. Looking at the document in which he was recorded as the owner of the animal, James thought that his life, flowing through his fingers, for the first time acquires some kind of density. Now he was responsible not only for himself. He named the cat Bob. Once James took the cat with him to work in Covent Garden. And I discovered that, firstly, in the bustle of the street, the cat feels like a fish in water, and secondly, you can earn more with a cat. By the end of the day, the backpack was heavy with coins. Jim fraternally shared the unprecedented proceeds with a companion he bought good food for the cat and fed himself in a restaurant. Selling the magazine could have been the first step on the career ladder for James, but he was well aware that this step was impossible until he was completely cured of drug addiction. All this time, James took methadone, was treated under the substitution therapy program, this is prohibited in Russia. That is, instead of one drug, he officially received another. Taking the pills, James could go about his business without fear that breaking would begin. But methadone was a time bomb. The schedule and time of administration could not be violated. This is the first stage of the program. If a person expressed a desire to completely break with drugs, it was necessary to agree with the doctor in order to gradually change the scheme. The culmination was two days that had to be spent without pills. James was very afraid of breaking, but the cat became the decisive argument. There was no one to feed him except James. The cat helped and hold out. He, as a nurse, spent two terrible days with him. Jim was delirious, trembling and tossing about in nightmares, and the cat purred and soothed, as if holding his hand. There was no one closer to the cat. 